Hello and welcome, Dr. Andy Rosenfarb here. Again, to talk to you today a little bit more about the oxidative stress and free radical conversation. This is going to start to round off our conversation. This is going to be uh, probably the last video or close to it in this series on reactive oxygen species, free radicals, and what you can do. So the last subject I really want to talk about today is what's the best way to test for oxidative stress? So we've been talking about this whole conversation for the past month or so, and we've been getting a lot of inquiries for people like, okay, how do I know if I'm oxidized? How do I know if I have oxidative stress? What tests are available to me? And how can I learn more about this? That's why we are having this live conversation now to address those. So there are several methods available to test for oxidative stress. There's a lot of essays. Uh, here's some commonly used medical methods. We're going to go over five of them today. They can be done by naturopaths, functional medicine doctors, uh, or holistic MDs who work in medical spas or those engaged in more holistic practices. So uh, those, are, those are the main type of uh, practitioners that can do this. Uh, perhaps chiropractors, uh, who do engage in functional medicine might be uh, available to do this in your area. But I want to go through these, this list with you guys so you can open a conversation with your healthcare provider, your holistic healthcare provider, about testing for your uh, free radical damage and for the level of oxidative stress. And at the end, I'm going to talk about a way that you can actually test at home, which is probably going to be very easy and of interest to a lot of you guys. So let's start with the first test. The first way to check for oxidative stress through testing is by measurement of reactive oxygen species. This is a direct measurement of reactive oxygen species levels uh, they can be challenging due to their highly reactive nature. So uh, it's not super easy to test for reactive oxygen species. They're very reactive, but we've seen that various fluorescent probes and dyes can be used to check for reactive oxygen species uh, on a cellular or tissue level. These probes undergo changes in fluorescence when they react with the reactive oxygen species, uh, allowing for the quantification so they can be measured once we use these uh, fluorescent probes and dyes. Not super popular, um, and it's certainly not the easiest method, but again, we just I just want to talk about it uh, because it is one of the main five methods that have been used historically. So let's move on to the second way to check for antioxidants, or uh, oxidative stress, uh, which actually is an antioxidant enzyme activity essay. So we're basically, with this test, we're looking for, do you have enough or a sufficient amount of antioxidants in your body to help combat uh, oxidative stress? So antioxidant enzymes such as superoxide domustase, SOD, some of you guys have probably heard that before, catalase and glutathione peroxidase, uh, they play a crucial, crucial, critical role in neutralizing reactive oxygen species and free radicals. So measuring the activity of these enzymes can provide a direct uh, assessment of oxidative stress by looking at these, these various quantifiable levels of antioxidants in your body. Uh, also in our clinic, we uh, measure creatinoid antioxidants. So there's another test that we do that can do that. Uh, enzyme activity essays are uh, performed using specific substrates that will measure the rate of enzymes catalyzed reaction. So basically it's a way of, of looking at these, uh, these, these uh, specific nutrients that are antioxidants and they use um, substrates to just measure the rate of uh, how fast it takes to catalyze these reactions. And that gives us an idea of how well saturated your body is with these important um, antioxidants. So number three, let's move on, is called total antioxidant capacity. Okay, this third method is used to measure the overall antioxidant capacity of a biological sample to see how well it's combating oxidative stress. This assesses the ability of antioxidants present in the sample to neutralize free radicals and inhibit oxidation or oxidative stress. So these essays are commonly used uh, they include tests like ferric reducing antioxidant power. So if you guys want to get a pen and you want to write these down, these are some, these are some more of the tests that are blood tests that your, 
your uh, naturopath or functional medicine doctor can do. So again, the first one is ferric reducing antioxidant power essay. So it's FRAP essay. So again, if you can take this and there's two more. The second one is a Trolox equivalent antioxidant capacity essay. So TEAC, that's the equivalent. Again, that's the Trolox equivalent antioxidant capacity test. And finally, there's the oxygen radical absorbance capacity, or ORAC. That's a test I really like. So again, there's a three test in there that if you want, uh, go to your naturopath, go to your functional medicine doctor, your holistic MD, and talk to them if you're interested in getting like a real deep test on those. So the fourth test we're going to go over uh, for you guys to look at is oxidative stress biomarkers in bodily fluids. Okay, so various oxidative stress biomarkers can be measured in body fluids, such as blood, urine, to assess systemic oxidative stress. These include organized forms of uh, glutathione, which we know is one of the, the major uh, antioxidants that, that's uh, produced in our bodies and also we can take externally. Uh, also advanced oxidation protein products, uh, we, can, we can check for those as well. Um, and finally, there's another term, which is a little bit hard to pronounce for you guys. Uh, it's F2 isoprostanes. So that's another third test that we can check for these oxidative stress biomarkers in specific body fluids, again, such as blood and urine. We can check for those. So that's another thing that your holistic MD can do to check that. We don't do blood draws here in our clinic, but we simply do. Uh, there's, there's a way that I like to test that I'm going to talk about right now, which is our fifth method where we can use urine, a urine sample to actually check uh, at our office or at home, you guys can do this. So this is this test is called an oxidative damage marker. And this is the one that I'm gonna most highly recommend. And this is the one that I use most frequently with patients and in clinic. Now the oxidative, oxidative damage marker uh, is where, again, oxidative stress can cause damage to the biomolecules, including the DNA, the proteins, and the lipids. All right. So by measuring specific markers for oxidative stress uh, in the DNA uh, or uh, what I like better, uh, we can check for lipid peroxidation and we use a specific test called the malinodialdehyde, say that 10 times, um, which can evaluate the extent of oxidative stress. So basically what that's measuring is lipid peroxidation. That's measuring how oxidized are the lipids, all right, the fats, have they gone rancid in the body? So I really, really like this test, the malinodialdehyde test. Um, it's a very simple test. The industry test is uh, that's, that's available is called the Oxidata urine test, and that's a trademark term by the company that designed it. And I'm going to spend a couple of minutes telling you guys about the Oxidata test because it is something that a lot of functional medicine practitioners uh, do utilize. I'm actually going to make it use uh, available, excuse me, available for you guys on our website uh, within the next week. So you guys will be able to go on our website at iHealthInstitute.com and order a home uh, oxidative urine test for yourself. So again, it is a home urine test. Um, it's it's a basic again. It's a way to monitor or test the level of stress on the body caused by free radical activity or oxidative stress. It is a colometric color absorbent reading from a urine test. We take first morning's urine sample um, from the uh, fr from your body, from your first morning's urine. And uh, it's, it's, it's really a technological breakthrough that measures the distance and of the polyunsaturated fat chain where the aldehydes, uh, again, that's what causes the free radical stress, uh, will result from the free radical attacks. So again, we're really looking at this lipid peroxidation or oxidative stress to the fats and how those, uh, those metabolites are dumped into the urine. We're going to take a quantitative analysis of that uh, first morning's urine. Um, so the test coordinates with the lab measurements to create precise results from a urine specimen. Uh, aldehyde activity uh, is usually much more concentrated in the urine when we have this a positive uh, test for lipid peroxidation. So that's really what we're measuring. We're measuring the aldehyde activity in here. So the oxidative test, let me talk about that for a minute, measures the amount of free radical damage or oxidative stress by measuring the level of free radicals called, again, malinodialdehyde in the urine. The test indicates 
the actual degree of damage to the cells caused by free radical activity. It's very, very accurate. And it will test where you're at and where you're going, which I'm going to talk more about. Actually, I'm going to do another whole, ta whole video um, on the oxidative test and how that works. Uh, I want you guys to get clarity on that. We'll probably do that once we lost, launch the home version or your, your availability to get that. So again, it provides immediate feedback for the effectiveness of the antioxidant intervention, whether you guys are doing creatinine antioxidants, if you're doing uh, supplements and diet or using hydrogen therapy or any other antioxidant therapy, whether it's supplements, diet, uh, gas therapy, antioxidant gas therapy, to monitor your results. So in short, this actually is a way to put a metric to the test that you're doing, right? So you want to know, uh, a lot of patients, uh, individuals ask too, how do I know if I'm oxidized? How do I know if I have oxidative stress? This is how you know. It's a very simple, easy, inexpensive way that you can check your urine for lipid peroxidation. And again, looking for these elevated aldehyde levels in the urine to find out if you have excessive oxidative stress. And that's color coded. And again, we're going to show you what that looks like. Again, the more red or uh, crimson the color is, the more oxidation you have. And that goes all the way down to clear. And you don't even want to be clear either because it'll also show if you are hyper reduced or you have reductive stress, which is what we talked about in our last session. So again, what I love about this test, the oxidative test, is it shows both if you're hyper oxidized, you have oxidative stress, and if you are hyper reduced or you have reductive stress. So you should have a nice light pink color in the middle, which is going to show where you have a, an appropriate amount of, of free radical activity going on, which of course we all need. So the testing is usually done once or twice a month just to monitor your changes. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to put together a little test kit for you guys and send out like two or three of these tests that you guys can order at a time. Um, one's okay if you want to order one test, you can do it, but of course you want a comparative, right? Before you start treatment or in early stages of treatment, you want to know where are you at. Um, and that'll indicate to you if you're doing the right thing, if we see progress, and if you need to amp up your oxidative stress regimen, okay? So again, how is it done? Real quick, I will repeat this when I do my oxidative test uh, video specifically and exclusive for that. But basically, you basically collect a uh, clean urine cup, right? We pee in a cup first morning, first thing in the morning, rather. Uh, we're going to drop one milliliter of urine. We're gonna, yeah, it comes in a little ampule, and we're going to drop that into the ampule. And then we just wait for the color change. And we, there's going to be a color code that you guys are going to get. Uh, it'll also be on our website that you guys can look and measure it up. And you can see and, and just record that. Uh, what I recommend is you take your phone. Um, most people have one now. Take a picture of it and log it or you know, keep it on your laptop or your, your desktop at your computer. So that is the best way that I'm going to recommend, the cheapest and fastest and most effective way for you guys to monitor your oxidative stress and reductive stress levels. So next week or by the end of this week, be on the lookout for uh, this test, uh, home test for oxidative stress called the Oxidata test to be available for you guys through our website for purchase. Um, we're just basically charging you guys with the lab cost us. We're not, you know, this is nothing. It's, it's not an expensive test. I think it's like, you know, 15 or 20 bucks. So I'm Dr. Andy Rosenfarb. Thanks for your time. And this is going to round up our conversation on oxidative stress, free radical damage, hydrogen therapy, and what you can do to support not only your oxidative stress, but also your reductive stress and know where you are so that you can help preserve your vision, your brain function, and your overall health. <laughs> I'm Dr. Andy Rosenfarb, AccuVision, Acupuncture, where your vision is our mission. Have a great rest of your day. <music>